Hi everyone, it's the winter solstice today, the shortest day of the year as well as a lunar eclipse which hasn't happened for about 500 years and it's not going to happen for another 100 years. So a very special day, lots of good energy. I'd just like to kick off, as is the tradition now, by just thanking the latest donors to the Love Police. Excuse me a sec. Massive thank you to Diane F, Brian M, Mario I, Kareem B, Simeon D, Mario I, again, very nice of you, thank you Mario I, very much appreciated, um, Richard H, Roland R, Sarah F, Desdia Marketing, Jason H, Neil C, Chris H, Peter J M, Mahu O, Stephen G, Kieran W, Tristan W, Tristan W, thanks again for everything else, uh, Jason H, Billy L G, Ian I, R P, sorry, Rakesh P, uh, Evan T, Tamo H, uh, Ifan D, Atla V, Chris D, Ian W, Tamo H again, thanks Tamo, uh, John G, Hauke M, and Stephen H. -H. <laughs> um, yeah, I just wanted to come out and do my last uh, video for 2010. Um, I'm off on leave to see some family, uh, see my mum and dad, uh, meet Silky's mum and dad again, spend Christmas with them, and then go and see my family for New Year. Um, I've just been watching a lot of the Greek protest footage, and man, do they put us to shame in London with our little sticks and placards. These people really reinvigorated my soul to see the defiance and the the passion of these people. They're not really hurting anyone. I mean, it's very spectacular. It's very um, impressive, almost in the Hollywood movie style kind of way, to see these running pitched battles underneath the Acropolis in central Athens. But let's not forget, the police did kill a, a boy, a 15-year-old, I believe his name was Alexis. I'm deducing that because someone graffitied in Trafalgar Square, remember Alexis. So when the police shoot children, um, people get quite upset. Um, coming on to police, um, I don't want him to become my Agent Smith or anything, but uh, Delroy Smelly, who I filmed in my last video, um, who hit that uh, lady at the G20, and I said very clearly he should resign and he should apologize. It's probably the only way to save his soul. And I was really up close with him, and uh, yeah, there's bad energy coming off him. But let's not tease him about his name, because that might be the source of the problem in the first place. Um, they say that hurt people hurt people. So uh, I don't hate uh, Delroy Smelly. I, I, I want him to figure out what he is as well. So to you, Delroy, I'm sending you some Christmas vibes because you need it, man. You need to quit that job. You can't be out there wearing that uniform after what you did. Um, it's not very nice. But generally, um, as a review of 2010, I'd say, yeah, it's been a fantastic year. Uh, not just for me, but for people around me and for the world. Yeah, I mean, some crazy experiences with the G20 in Toronto. And just to let you know, Dan, the, my bail check came back. I did feel a bit of a criminal going into the bank um, to cash my check with a, it said on it, Ontario bail bond type stuff. So you always feel like a bit of a kind of gangster criminal with that. But no, um, 53 hours in solitary was quite bad. But compared to some people who spend years in jail as a political prisoner, they would laugh at my being upset for my 53 hours in solitary, but oh well, we live, we learn. So I, I learned a lot at the G20 in Toronto, and I also learned uh, a lot spending time with Luke in New York uh, earlier in the year, Luke Rudowski from We Are Change, and uh, went to Amsterdam earlier in the year, met some great people, and thank you, Shashi, for letting us stay at your house. Uh, you're a great guy, you make a fantastic curry. There's so many people I could really thank um, for 2010 being a fantastic year and of course there's Danny Shine um, there's all sorts of like little people you know um, well not little people but you know people in the background and people in the foreground that have just made this a fantastic year um, I am um, today I'm in one of those moods where everything is truly okay and I've just had a three-hour conversation with uh, a new friend I've made called Paul so, Paul, hope you're driving home safe to see your house up in Liverpool. Um, Paul um, chatted to me on Facebook, and uh, he's a daughter in Norwich, and he drove through Cambridge, and we kind of sat down and 
bang the world to rights for three hours, and it was great to see like this kind of big, strong Liverpudlian, you know, hard man uh, speaking about spiritual, psychological matters, and it was really, really cool. So, Paul, really nice to meet you, and I think that guarantees that we'll be doing a Love Police Academy in Liverpool in the new year. So, Scousers, beware, we're coming. Um, yeah, 2011, I think the student protests will carry on. There's another big one planned for the 29th of January, which I'll definitely go to. Um, but uh, I've been thinking about the bigger picture as well, a lot, and what everything means. And I was chatting to Paul about this today, that probably the best way to deal with this evil system is to do nothing and walk away from it, ignore it, um, by our very actions of moving away from evil like adults. Um, leaving evil behind us rather than going in there and fighting it, we can move on. But there is something to be said for the replenishing of the human soul by going out there and confronting authority and confronting people to try and push you around. And I've always believed that a lot of the work I do um, maybe inspires and helps the police to see how human beings should be behaving. And I try and say that with as little arrogance as possible because uh, I don't consider myself the epitome of how humans should behave, but I hope that in the defiance, in the standing up against them, in the, in the, um, the, the telling of my own dignity in, in the face of truncheons and aggression, you can show them that it doesn't matter how much violence they use, uh, there'll always be more and more people out there doing it. And it's the same with wars, you know, I'm, however many troops you p pile into Afghanistan, however many children you bomb in Pakistan, you can't get rid of an idea. And that idea is the same as my idea. It's the opposition to the machine. So as I said in the last video, a lot of people who don't live moral lives, who aren't in tune with who they are, they might have to in the kind of great Buddhist tradition of the karmic cycles, come back and do this again and again. So maybe Dick Cheney, he'll come back as a as a, you know, a rat. Not that there's anything wrong with being a rat, but maybe as a lower consciousness being, or maybe he'll just come back as a human being. I don't know, I'm going into these matters that I'm not 100% sure I believe in totally myself. But um, for 2011, I think what I'm gonna do is, yeah, get armored up and just um, shine a light on all the police and how they treat the protesters. I mean, I just want to get really right in there amongst their truncheons, amongst their shields, and just shine the camera in their face and say, look, this is your mirror. This, you know, you, you're going to end up on the internet because you can't put on this horrible, horrible machine uniform and smash people around. And Jodie McIntyre, the young, um, um, what's he got? What is it? Uh, the, you know, the disabled guy, he's, um, he's got, um, what is it? Uh, Anyway, Jody McIntyre, he's, um, I don't know what condition he has, but he's in a wheelchair. It's funny when something's just in the tip of your mind and you know the words and um, it's not... Anyway, you all know who Jody McIntyre is. I'll put the link in the bottom of the video. The police dragged him out of his wheelchair. I mean, come on. But anyway, to end on a positive note, it's snowing. Everything is truly okay. 2011 will be an amazing year. Uh, any dark forces or any small conspiracies will always fail because I believe the human soul, the human spirit will infiltrate and conspire with itself in any dark, evil place. Oh yeah, I forgot to say when I was in Toronto being badly treated by the police, there was always one or two police officers, call them what they are, they were human beings, men, who were really kind to me and really nice to me. So even amongst all the detective torture and all the interviews and all the sleep deprivation and all the freezing there was always one or two people there that were human beings and um, if you want to see a little report have a look at the ombudsman's Ontario ombudsman's report of the G20 all about the policing's failure and uh, no it's really cool of them to mention me and put my photograph in there I think it's a still from Dan Dix's video he did but to end on a positive note you know as uh, some people say it really is true that love is the only thing that exists and the only thing which holds anyone back from knowing what they are is fear and the aggression they send out when they don't know what they are so they attack others around them so when you shine a light onto things being bad they lash out at you 
Have a great Christmas, have a great New Year, and 2011. We have nine months until the end of fear, so I'll be um, contacting and speaking to a lot of different groups because I would like there to be the biggest, the most peaceful, and with the strength of our numbers, the powers that be, not really, they don't have any power, but the powers that control this slave ship, they shall know our velocity, our love, our speed, and how much we actually care. So to everyone who loves what I do, thank you. To everyone who hates what I do, thank you as well. You keep me sharp. Um, and uh, yeah, there's not really an, enough affection I can give out. I mean, it's because of all you guys who watch. And you, you should understand, this is really weird because I'm talking to a camera, having to imagine that I'm chatting to you who's watching this. But without you guys watching, without this kind of symbiotic relationship we have, it wouldn't exist. So. I've been really humbled by all the great words you all say, and um, yeah, have a great year. And the lights go out, how's that for coincidence?